I was an idiot, I admit. I was a complete effing idiot for ever saying the first film was unremarkable. Since I realized my view on the second film changed drastically after the second watching, I have now started to rewatch the first film as well. And lo and behold, once again, I am being stricken with the fact that my first impressions are garbage. Because with this, my rewatching of Doom Part 1, I haven't even gotten 30 minutes into it, and I noticed so many remarkable things that I simply did not see the first time, or noticed them briefly on the side, but didn't have the time to think it over. And the one thing I want to start with is the question of space travel. Since in a previous video I was stupid enough to complain that Denis Villeneuve did not depict space travel and navigators, I now wanted to hurry up and redeem my sense of stupidity. Not only did he indeed depict space travel in Doom Part 1, which I bet many people a lot smarter than myself have noticed long ago, but he also did so beautifully. And he did it in a very, how can I say this, Stanley Kubrick-esque fashion. Because if there's one word that can give a perfect description of Stanley Kubrick's style, it's subtlety. And this is the way in which Danny Villeneuve depicted space wolving in the first Dune. With perfect subtlety. If you're a book reader, it's like a landmine that you step on. You notice the explosion for a brief perfect second, and then before you can think it over, the moment is gone and never shows up again. And this short instance of perfection is left in your brain just as a vague memory, for which you have to struggle in order to remember and be able to fully contemplate it. And the process of this slow, painful contemplation works on your brain like a trampoline for your consciousness, expanding your perspective and making you fall in love with this brief cinematic moment, precisely because it's so brief yet perfect. I've noticed that in life, the things that you truly love, the things that you let define you, are the things for which you have fought and struggled to achieve. And it's the same with experiencing art. The piece of art you fall in love with is the one which made you think about it the most. And this is one such moment in Dune Part 1. Denis Villeneuve shows us for a very brief yet beautiful moment how people in the Dune universe travel through space via space folding. The moment is seen at the beginning of the film when the ship carrying Gaius Helen Mohayim arrives on Caladan so that she can test Paul with the Gondra Bar. We see her ship passing through the spacing guild liner, which, might I add, looks glorious and insanely gigantic, resembling maybe actually a worm to show the connection between spice and space travel. Oh my god. Anyway, but when I saw this scene now for the second time and I could pause it and think about it, my brain exploded for a different reason. And it's because I noticed the planet in the background. We only see part of it through the tunnel shape of the guild liner and it's not seen in the background outside the liner. Because, Captain Obvious, the planet is literally in a different region of space and the guild liner has literally folded the space across the actual distance via the theory of the wormhole. And now seeing this brief scene, I of course felt two types of emotion. One was of complete idiocy for not noticing it the first time, and the other emotion that I felt was such deep sense of satisfaction because it seems that Danny Villeneuve has the same understanding as me about the space folding element, which just makes me tear up. I appreciate such things so much. A great artist hinting they have the same ideas as you, making them feel relatable. I just feel like a blessed peasant. And it's done in such beautiful Kubrick fashion. It's not in any way long or explicit or in your face with its weirdness like the scene from the Lynch film, which I still kind of love but looked ridiculous. It's just a short, tiny moment which you can only notice if you're careful and observant. As the viewer, you're meant to fight and make your effort in order to notice and understand things. It's not just given to you on a fucking plate. Because Denis Villeneuve made the film with the assumption that his audience will be smart enough. He respects us and gives us a piece of art that he believes he doesn't have to make stupid enough for us to understand it. He made us work for it, much like Stanley Kubrick did. There's no exposition, there's no long monologues or voice narration, there's no bucket of information presented to us. It's just one tiny short scene of a hint that we have to work with, and the rest is up to our brains. And I just love it. I feel by the end of my rewatching the first film, I'll feel like the biggest moron on the planet, but it's gonna be the good kind of pain for me. Because I'll feel stupid myself, but then I'll have not one, but two perfect Dune films.